by using Fury App Access, uh, how to create a subsequent free of charge, we're going to see in this session. It is similar way, like you have to use this transaction in backend to open your Fury App. Uh, once that is opened, we can able to run the process actually. So let's uh, I'll try to show you, okay. So if you come here, I have already opened. This is the home where, like, let's try to create a, uh, a sales order first. You know the process well. So, so like, uh, you just have to take, uh, so this is my um, document type, okay, basically for order creation. So let's try to enter the customer here. Okay, so once this is done, okay, test SDF subsequent PFO press enter. So now this is the time for entering the material. Let's give some quantity. Okay, so you can give this material. This is what we're using now. Let's give the uh, 10 quantity. Okay, so Let's try to check incomplete lot before saving the order. Okay. All good. Just save this one. And let's try to do the delivery now. Press enter. Okay. We have the stock. Just try to pick this stock 10 pieces. So let's do the PCA. All good. So material document generated, let's try to do the bill and save the order. So what is basically subsequent free of charge order, uh, like instead of uh, giving the written credit memo, okay, you are sending uh, the, the goods which is got damaged or maybe XYZ reason, replacement. Basically, you can able to call it as a replacement order, okay. So for before going ahead, so let's try to take your billing document. So just copy this bill with reference to bill. First you create a written order. So your SDF will be created either with reference to uh, written order or sales order. Okay, it depends on the scenario. Like if someone is asking, I would like to go ahead with, uh, like uh, with the help of uh, what I would say, invoice also. So that will become like a scenario, okay? Uh, so like, let's do one thing. Let's click here, create reference. It is given in the bottom. That's what I'm searching for it. And let's take the billing document as a reference for creating the written order, okay? So just, uh, okay. Uh, so like, uh, let's go to that. One second. You have to choose the order reason. So maybe like, uh, let me put it, this is, uh, you can say that, you know, he want a replacement. This is based on the customer recommendation presented. So all good. Okay, this is R is the order. So go back. Okay. So let's try to save this because we require a willing block. Anyhow, we're not going to create any credit memo. Okay for return uh, order, okay? So let's try to save this, okay? Once you have done, let's try to receive the goods actually, how many got damaged, Isn't that all goods got damaged in the scenario, okay? We need a replacement, that's what uh, is all about. So basically you will have a goods receipt, okay? You can take all goods back, so what it is saying, so, okay, it is the batch, right? So every time, so let's try to fetch some batch, okay? So it's not some batch, you have to take the exact batch. So for, for this batch, you are taking back the goods, all 10 pieces, okay? So goods received done, okay? So, so let's go to that. Continue.
So let's try to go to EA02. Okay. Cannot put slash on here. Sorry. So let's go to the change. Uh, this is the written order which we have created actually. So let's copy this. So instead of doing so, if you do the credit memo, you are setting down for all these uh, 10 pieces. Okay. On instead, what we can able to do it with reference to this written order, or else without reference, also we can able to do it. Okay. As per process and standard process, if you take uh, SD, so replacement uh, delivery order, you can take this one also, okay. As per center, it is giving, it is asking for this with reference to this return order. So what we are going to do, <coughs> so item level, it is not copying. Okay, let's see the log as well. So there might be some issue. Okay, let's do one thing. We'll try to do with ST2 documented. It is going directly, but let's do one thing. Let's copy this and try to copy this. Okay. Okay, so we don't have any copy control. We have one copy control that is got one issue. So VT, uh, yeah, uh, VT, yeah, yeah, basically this is order to order. Let's try to check what could be the issue. So let's go to the position. Yours is. So we are trying to copy for SD from RE. Okay, let's have a selection. Okay. So if we take this, if we go to the complete reference. So let's try to check item level. Let's try to copy. Someone has uh, removed this one. This is KLM. Okay, oh, the end to KLM, it is there. Okay, I got it. What is the issue? So now let's go to VA02. Press enter. Let's try to put the rejection region for this. Okay. Hmm. Maybe customer received replacement. Let's save this. So now let's try to go for the SD. And let's try to copy this. Okay, all good now. So all, uh, we don't want to create an error, but we need to reject that. Okay, test SDF. Okay, so basically what we have to do is, uh, so let's try to check and complete that. Probably it might ask other reason. Okay, document is completed. So, save it. So, let's try to deliver this. So, we are replacing all 10 pieces, right? So, you have to take 10 pieces. Let's try to pick the batch. See, I have done batch determination for all, uh, all uh, document types. That's why you are getting this. So that's not a good deal either uh, for this process. What you have to do here. So now go to VA03. So let's uh, try to check the document flow. Okay. 
what is so you created order delivery for let's try to do one thing let's go to the view like items okay certain times you have taken 10 pieces 10 pieces you deliver okay pj and you have done invoice and after that you created one more order okay, for returns okay so return delivery return and you have created subsequent three options this is how uh, you must have to uh, you know uh, check the document flow and play with the system so it's not always uh, complete uh, uh, you know replacement certain times you have a parcel also you can able to probably you can able to try all these scenarios uh, so i have uh, explained with the uh, minute details like you know not uh, this is transactional flow right so since i have already explained in a detailed way in my course okay for s for enough for 60 hours if you really want you can give it right so this is all about my course and this is for condition contract man better do these two courses it will help you a lot you know getting into the s for enough okay if you really wanted to get more uh learning around thousand plus videos i have done you can try my channel please stay tuned with me thank you so much keep in my latest and have a great day